Well, uh, I totally did not expect this, but um, yo, what's up, guys? Y'all doing today, man? Coming out y'all with some more NBA breaking news that today. We'll be talking about the Charlotte Hornets, who are making a head coaching hire for the second time. So obviously, as we know, Katie Atkinson ended up agreeing to the deal. Then he ended up saying, "No, I'm good. I want to become the coach of the Hornets. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, stay with assistant head coaching." Um, I was obviously behind uh, Steve Kerr and the rest of the core there. And now they end up today, according to Woj, going back and doing this. Uh, Steve Clifford has agreed to a deal to return as the Charlotte Hornets head coach. Clifford, one of the league's most respected coaches among his peers, led the Hornets to two playoff trips in a five-year run that ended in 2018. This is like you going back to your ex as an as a kind of an analogy like you should be prospering to new, better and new beginnings and this and that and here you are going back to your former head coach which you should never i feel like i've never seen in a while especially in this short of what four years you be fired from a team then become the head coach of that team there was a reason why they went ahead and let go of Clifford. They needed a new regime, and head coach definitely would help with that. You go from getting Kenny Atkinson, a really good hire in my opinion, to going back to Steve Clifford. Like I said, it's literally like if you're a person and you go back to action future. Like you expected it to work out this time. No, I mean it may work out, but more rather than not, it's not gonna work out. You're gonna be back in the same situation and parting ways once again. So, Hornets fans, how to how are y'all feeling about this? If I'm y'all right now, I'm pissed. LaMelo Ball is on the rise. They're going to make some decisions to come this offseason in, in terms of LaMelo, not LaMelo Ball, but Miles Bridges and Gordon Hayward. You guys got Mark Williams last night in the draft. Shout out to y'all on that pick. Love that pick. Love Mark Williams out of Duke. But outside of that, why go back to Steve Clifford? You just put to move on to bigger, better things. And here you are moving on to a former head coach of yours. You know that you could have got Mike D'Antoni. Mike D'Antoni system with LaMelo Ball. Would have been said, y'all saw what Mike D'Antoni said him did to James Harden. LaMelo Ball, I don't think it would be MVP type candidate. Maybe. I'm not going to give him that high of a... Uh, I'm a big LaMelo Ball guy, but let me uh, back up. Let me back up. You guys saw what he did to Harden. I can't even imagine what he would have done under Mike D'Antoni. Man, you really went back. You're supposed to move forward, and here you are moving back, Hornets? Like, y'all really went back to the X. Like, how is this going to help y'all? Going back to something that obviously had some success, but at the end of the day, needed a different voice, different regime. James Arrego apparently was in it last year as well. He's, a, he's one of those coaches last year. But Arrego obviously deserved to be fired. He's one of those coaches that when a player was on fire, which is randomly just sub him out the game and not really... He would, like, play by minutes and not play and coach how the game was currently going just going by like i guess like a minutes per play or something like that so you need a different head coach there so you pass on mike d'antoni for steve clifford and others that probably would have been better so again this didn't work out you ended up going back with him for whatever reason i don't understand why you guys did this hornet saying please comment down below because i i'm lost right now like Y'all gotta be sick. Steve Clifford? Like, is this 2016 or 2017 or 2018 once again? Like, this isn't the Kemba Walker days. This is the LaMelo Ball, the Terry Rozier, potentially even the Miles Bridges days. And here y'all are going back to Steve Clifford? When do people ever go back to coaches that they fired? You fired him for a reason. And now he's just, I mean, did he even get fired? He might have just kind of just might have just went up on on his. I'm pretty sure he got fired though. Come on. Either fired or he just didn't get retained. But wow, Steve Clifford, man. Every time I was thinking of Clifford, I think of Clifford the uh, Red Dog. I don't think of uh, Steve Clifford. I think of Clifford the Big Red Dog, man. Shout out to uh, the Goated Show, man. But other than that, ah, that is uh, not it, man. I'm not going to lie. That is not at all. And also, right after he joined the Hornets, he ended up being a coach of the Magic. And that didn't work out at all. And the magic remained in poverty so uh yeah yeah he was actually fired as head coach in april 13 2018 after the five seasons coaching the team to a 196 and 214 record so 
he was fired and in a couple years y'all bring him back for the reason and the hornets i feel bad for y'all man y'all were in my opinion one of the most fun teams to watch last year in the nba across every team really really fun to watch love y'all announcers but y'all supposed to be like i said y'all supposed to be taking y'all supposed to be taking a step forward and here y'all taking a step back like it just gotta be pain man it just has to be got me up lost back-to-back playing games blowing I've gotten blown out in back that playoff years by the last year with the Pacers. This year was the Hawks. And here, like, going back to Steve Clifford, man. If I'm a horse fan now, I'm deeply pissed. And I actually just feel so bad for y'all, man. This is such a hire that should just not happen. You don't go back to somebody that you parted ways with. It's just not a recipe for success, but instead a recipe for disaster, okay? But other than that, yo, that is the news. So go down below, drop a like, comment down below. So what was me on Twitch, Twitter, and to talk to your boy John. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'm out, man. Peace.